Hello children, we are back again with another maths session on surface area. In this session, we are going to look at surface area of cylinder and surface area of right triangular based prism. Okay, first of all, let us see what is a cylinder and how is a cylinder made up. Made, made. Okay, the cylinder. If you see the, the slide, you will see there are uh, there is a cylinder with uh, two, circu two circles, one on top and one at the bottom. So this uh, cylinder is consist consists of what, two circles, one at the top and one at the bottom. And there is a circular part which is called a curved surface area around. So these are the three parts of a cylinder. So for us to find the surface area of the cylinder, we have to find the area of the this circle here and also area of this circle and area of the curved surface part and add them all for us to get the surface area of the cylinder. Alright, now let's see area to find this what are the parts that we have in a cylinder. So first let us consider now this part the curved surface area. I'm going to show you how to find the area of this curved surface part. So for that what I do is I'm going to use a scissor or a knife or whatever and I'm going to cut this from here from one edge like that a straight line and when we open it up you will see you get a rectangle like this a rectangle like this when you cut this into half. So the length of this will be 2 pi r which is the circumference of the cylinder you see the circumference of the cylinder is the length of the rectangle that we have got and the width will be h which is this part of the cylinder will be equal to the width of the rectangle. So to find the surface area of the curved surface is that 2 pi r that is the length multiplied by the width which is h and we get 2 pi r h. So to find the curved surface of the cylinder is equal which is equal to a rectangle we multiply the length which is 2 pi r multiplied by h which is the width. Okay now let's look at all the parts together. We have the cylinder equals we get two um, circles that is one circle which is on top like I told you and the other one which is at the bottom and this is the curved surface area which we discussed about. So you know that a circle's area, to find the area of the circle we use the formula pi r squared and we have another pi r squared and we already discussed how we get this to pi r h and we add all of them together which is pi r squared plus pi r squared is 2 pi r squared and 2 pi r h 2 pi r h. So you add these two to get the surface area of the cylinder. Now let us look at one example. Okay, example one. A cylinder of base radius 7 centimeters and height 15 centimeters is given below. Find number one area of a area of one plane face that is the circle and area of the curved surface which is around which we discussed the rectangle and then for us to find the total surface area. Okay. Now let's look at the first one area of one plane face that is which they are asking about the circle circle we find the area we they have asked only for one plane face you have to read the question carefully and answer what they are asking for. So one plane face we use pi r squared pi is equal to 3.142 multiplied by they have already told you that the radius of the circle is 7 centimeters. So r is equal to 7 and 7 when you multiply all these you get the area in squared centimeters or centimeter squared. When you multiply them you will get 154 centimeters squared. So the circle here the area of the circle is 154 squared centimeters. Alright now let's see question number 2. Area of curved surface that is the this part where we 
no we all now we know that it is a shape of a rectangle okay area of the curved surface is 2 pi r h 2 multiplied by pi is equal to 3.142 multiplied by r is equal to 7 which is the radius and h is equal to 15 centimeters which they have given so you multiply them and you get 660 squared centimeters now we know the area of a circle, area of the circle which is 154 and area of the curved surface which is 660. Now let's look at the third question, total surface area. So how to find the total surface area that is 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. We know that pi r squared is equal to 154. So you multiply that by 2 and you add 660. So 2 multiplied by 154 is 308 plus 660 is 962 squared centimeters. So the total surface area of this cylinder is 968 squared centimeters. And now example 2. The circumference of the base of a cylinder vessel without a lid of height 20 centimeters is 88 centimeters. So now they are talking about the circumference. So circumference of the base of a cylinder, this base here is 88. That is the circumference is 88 centimeters. The height of the cylinder is 20 centimeters and they have not given you R. And one important thing here is the cylinder is without a lid which means it only has a circle in the base it doesn't have a lid here so we don't have to find the area of the top circle because this cylinder does not have a lid so now let's first see the circumference of the base you find using 2 pi r the circumference of a circle is found by 2 pi r so now we can uh, we can say that 2 pi r is equal to 88 because they have already told that it is 88 and now you simplify that is pi you take it this side and you make r the subject of the equation r is equal to 88 over 2 pi 88 over 2 pi which is 2 multiplied by 3.142 and you get r radius as 18 centimeters now you find that r is equal to 4 14 centimeters and then the circumference of the base of a cylinder now in the same question we have find the total exterior surface area now we found the radius now we have to find the total exterior surface area that is the surface area of the part but remember it does not have a lid so we are not going to multiply it by 2 because it only has one circle we find pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. So pi is equal to 3.142 r. We found that r is equal to 14. 14 multiplied by 14 plus then we find the surface, uh, the, the circular part which is 2 pi r h. And then we add them and you get 2376 squared centimeters. The total surface area of this cylinder which does not have a lid is 2376 squared centimeters. I hope this was very clear and they might give you questions in different form like they will ask you to find the height giving the radius and the total surface area or they can give you the circumference and ask you to find the area. So the questions can be twisted and given in many other ways. So you have to know the basics and you should know how to work it out. So you will be able to do any type of questions that you get. All right. Now let us look at to right triangular based prism. So first of all, like we also discussed in the cylinder, we are going to see the parts of the right triangular ba based prism. Right triangular base is from the word you will know that it is it has a right angled triangle. So here there is a right angle. Right angle means which is 90 degrees. So you have two triangles here. Uh, in a right triangular base prism you have two triangles that is one from this edge and the other is here and around we have three rectangles which is you know 
one, two, three, all three sides of the triangle, there are rectangles attached. So now, so if we break it into parts in the triangle, in the right, uh, uh, right triangular base rhythm, if we remove this triangle here, so you will see this is the height and this is 90 degrees here. And we have uh, the base. So we already know how to find the area of a right angle triangle, which is half into base into height. Or not only right angle triangle, any uh, triangle you find half times base times height. So and the, so we have two like this in the prism, and in here we have a rectangle which we found in all three sides. So we find the area of this rectangle by multiplying the length by width. So we have three like this in the prism. So let's say how to find the surface area of this uh, whole thing. All right. So example one, find the total surface area of the prism using the data as given. So we have, let's look at this now. Okay. So we have a triangle here, which is an isosceles triangle, two sides equal, which is 10 centimeters, and we have 60 centimeters as base. And it will, the two triangles will be the same, and we have three rectangles around, which is 30 centimeters length and 10 centimeters width. All right, so now here for us to find, let's first find the area of the triangle. We cannot find the area of this triangle because we do not know the height, because we find the area of a triangle by multiplying the base and the height by half. Uh, multiplying the base times height by half. So we do not know the height. So first of all, we need to find the height, which is h. So in here, you know that this is 90 degrees and we have to find h here. Now we are going to apply Pythagoras theorem. So if we take this as AX, this line here as AX and this as AC and this as XC, we can apply the Pythagoras theorem into this, which is AC squared is equal to AX squared plus XC squared. XC squared. So now we substitute AC is equal to 10 centimeters, 10, 10 squared is equal to AX squared plus 8 squared. We move 8 squared, which is 64, into this side. So AX squared is equal to 36. AX is equal to square root of 36, which is 6 centimeters. Now we know that the height of the triangle is 6 centimeters. Okay, so knowing that the height of the triangle is 6 centimeters, we are going to find the area of the triangles. So half times base times height. So half base is equal to 16, which is given, and height is equal to 6 centimeters, which we already found in the previous slide. So when we simplify this, you can cancel 2 and 3 by dividing by 2, uh, cancel 2 and 6, sorry. So 3 multiplied by 16 is 48 centimeters squared or squared centimeters. which means the area of this triangle is 48 squared centimeters. So we have another triangle here, which will also be 48. Now let us look into like how to find the whole surface area here. Area of two triangular faces, which we found before 48. And like we discussed, we have two triangles here, which is 48 multiplied by two. 96 squared centimeters and area of the rectangular face ACRP that is ACRP we have 30 and 10 so 30 multiplied by 10 is 300 and we have the same thing this side triangle so the length here also will be 30 so 30 multiplied by 10 we have 300 and at the bottom if you see the length is 30 but the width is 16 so it will be 16 multiplied by 30 is equal to 480. Now we have the areas of all five sides, that is two triangles and three rectangles. So we add them all and we get 1176 squared centimeters, which is the total surface area of this prism. Okay. 
Thank you so much for listening. I hope this will help you a lot in your exams. And uh, please do um, try out new questions. And you can also ask us of any uh, of your chapters that you want us to revise. Thank you so much for listening. Have a good day. Bye-bye.